Listen, bro, call me Nintendo the way I tear you on your kingdom. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Games Gates today and only today. That's right. We are here to talk about Nintendo in 2023. Can you believe it? It's a new year, new time for Nintendo. I figured we'd talk about the stuff we know, the stuff that, you know, we think is coming, some of my hopes and all that stuff, and I think it'll be a good discussion. Now, there's no doubt that 2022 for Nintendo is actually really dope. You had stuff, you know, like Splatoon 3. You had Bayonetta 3. You had what's called Kirby in the Forgotten Land. You had what's... What was another? You had Mario Plus Rabbids 2. You had Fire Emblem uh, Three Hopes. You know, you had Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You had Pokemon Legends. There was a lot of stuff across the board for Nintendo, but I still feel like there was a, there was a lack of that big, like, Nintendo moment this year, and I think the reason for that is obviously uh, coming up in 2020. We're going to talk about all that, but let's start, obviously, right off the bat with I, what I want to get over with is the Switch Pro, all right? So I think recently the biggest source we have about this is Digital Foundry actually had an article talking about how pretty much the idea that is that whatever the idea of a Switch Pro was was canned, and they are just going to be making a next-gen console. I think they originally had an idea for one, but I think, you know, due to COVID and missing parts and seeing that the Switch's momentum did not want to stop either way, probably just gave them zero incentive to do it and to just move on to bigger and better hardware. So anybody expecting a Switch Pro to launch with Breath of the Wild? I mean, that's not the case. There's already an OLED Switch that leaked uh, for the game, and I just don't think there's any World War 1 comes out this year. I think maybe, you know, next year we will start hearing uh, the rumblings or the project name for whatever the next Switch successor is, but for, ne for this year, I do not expect any Switch Pro stuff. So first off, we're starting off with Fire Emblem engage actually this game comes out in like two weeks it's like right around the corner and i'm actually really excited for this one you know there's something about fire emblem that is always just fun you know whether it's you know all the tactical style gameplay it has has always been fun but i feel like this one stands out to me is just there's color you know there's color there's cool areas it looks like it's more you know fire emblem awakening like instead of fire emblem three houses because i love three houses on a, on a character base but the gameplay sort of felt like a bit i don't know i wasn't too big on the gameplay with it but this one looks more like it's going you know more focused on the classes more focused on the gameplay you know you're gonna have characters from old and new and all that stuff and it just this one just looks really fun so i'm really excited for this one coming up in two weeks and i can't wait more fire emblem i'm always taking oh my god i burped mid fucking sentence then continuing the kirby train we actually have kirby is return to dreamland remastered from the wii i'm happy to see the wii era of games getting remastered you know we had skyward sword hd and now we're getting kirby's return to dreamland i love this because the wii is one of my favorite consoles we also had galaxy and in 3D All-Stars. But yeah, no, Kirby's Return to Dreamland is one of the best 2D Kirby games. One of my favorites, actually, in the series. And to have this game on new console with this sort of cool cel-shaded art style, I'm really excited to jump back into this game, man. And I can't wait to play it with friends. Sadly, there is no online call, so I'm gonna have to drag human beings over to me. Uh, at, you know, you hate to see it, but it is what it is. But yeah, so I think, no matter what, either way, Kirby and the Forgotten Land... Oh, sorry, Kirby's Return to Dreamland is gonna be a banger. If you've never played Kirby... It you know this game before go and do that please next up for the jrpg dorks out there you got octopath traveler 2 coming out i actually really enjoyed octopath traveler 1 and i heard this one is going to be a bit more connected with the storyline which is the biggest problem with octopath traveler 1 um so i'm really excited i mean the hd 2d engine continues to be really gorgeous this year we actually got two games of them all in 2022 we did we had uh live alive and we had uh what's called what was the other one triangle strategy so a lot of fans of this type of game are eaten and we're still getting the giant quest 3 hd rematch master in it so love this engine keep making games on it all the time please 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 of course you have the mythical advance wars right where are you you know we know you are finished we know you are on a shelf i do hope that the time that this game has been in the can you know obviously due to the war and stuff going on in the world i do hope that they've been spending their time just extra polishing it and making it an even crazier package but part of me feels like you know it's just on a shelf finished and they're just waiting for a new release date my guess is probably going to be around you know march or april by this point it's probably just gonna be you know a very subtle release for nintendo and i think advanced wars is fucked as a series so let's enjoy the stream master as it is now the last two big ones i would say obviously before we get to the mega big one is pikmin 4 right holy shit after all these years after all those years that miyamoto said in pikmin 4 was almost done and all that stuff it is finally real we have the title you know we have a little look at it we know the camera's a little pan behind the character as opposed to top down and i don't know i feel like this is going to be one that is going to change the series 
series a lot. I feel like it's going to be much more accessible as a lot of, you know, modern Nintendo games tend to be. I think they want this one to really hit because to this day, I love Pikmin. It's actually like one of my favorite Nintendo franchises, but it definitely is very daunting. You know, there's a there's definitely a difficulty to it and stuff. And I, and I hope they keep that in. I hope there's difficulty modes you can pick. But I think they do want the series to be a little more, you know, accessible. They want to be a bit more fun for people that just, you know, heard about this and want to jump in and play with, especially with how big the Switch's install base is. They're probably expecting a lot more people to jump into this. And we know Miyamoto loves Pikmin. We know he loves Pikmin. He always talks about Pikmin, has them with them. So hopefully Pikmin 4 is a banger. I love Pikmin 3. I want to see some unique stuff. You know, we're seeing that this place looks inhabited. You know, it looks like you're in a backyard of some kind. So maybe the theme of this will be, you know, households and backyards and, and you know, places that humans actually inhabited as opposed to more wild forest. So we'll see. Very excited to see what they do. And I'm all in for Pikmin 4. And of course, Tears of the Kingdom. That's right. Breath of the Wild 2, as we all like to call it. Man, this game, bro. This game coming out, what? We it, It's in May. We're like really getting close to this game. You know, we have a release date. It's May or June. I don't remember, actually. I looked it up. It's actually May 12th. So what? We're like five months away from a massive new Zelda game. And it's crazy. Like, they have been cooking for more than six years by the time this game comes out. It will have been six years since Breath of the Wild. Technically, I would say five because they probably wrapped the DLC by the end of the year, uh, you know, when that game came out. So they've probably been working on this game for about five years. And man, like... I feel like this game has a mega ton of expectations, but I also think Nintendo knows that, and they've probably crafted something insane. I have no reason to doubt, you know, the team, you know, AJ Onuma and all the developers they're working and that have, they've learned from a bunch of games that have come out, and even learned, you know, from some of the things people had criticisms of from Breath of the Wild, but also, I mean, Breath of the Wild is, like, legitimately a masterpiece to me, so I really do hope that whatever happens with Tears of the Kingdom is crazy, you know, I hope these sky areas are as fun to explore you know as they look i hope the ground areas are definitely you know varied and changed up to justify you sort of going back down there you know like what's going to be the big hook to that and i just wonder how much you know how much more is the story going to be emphasized here you know how many new abilities are there going to be like i feel like this game has yet to have its sort of breath of the wild trailer moment where like a trailer sort of breaks the internet for this game you know we've had trailers that look gorgeous and we see parts of the game and it looks great but i want that trailer you know like the nintendo switch presentation show and i feel like we are definitely getting closer to that as time goes on i could see a, you know a zelda direct happening or it being the big finale um of the next mainline direct but either way Tears of the Kingdom is going to be a mega ton, and I have no doubt it's going to take over. Now, next up, we have the DLC trend continuing to roll. We know Splatoon 3 is going to get continued DLC maps and stuff. I wonder if maybe by the end of the year, we're going to see the big expansion, you know, like the Octo expansion equivalent for the game. That'll be fire. I'm very excited. I love the campaign, so give me more of that stuff. Um, we're also going to get more Mario Kart 8 DLC. They've been rolling the waves out. We're going to get the final four waves. Hopefully, I still cannot believe that we are getting that many Mario Kart tracks. I mean, what, by the time all the waves are done it's what 48 new tracks or something so cannot believe how crazy the team went with that and i'm just excited to have it's it's just fun now that like when smash dlc isn't here to be the event at the very least mario kart and you know dlc is here to be at least not as crazy as an, an event but it's still a really fun one where it feels like that night everybody's hopping back into mario kart there's also the mario plus rabbits dlc that's gonna have rayman that's gonna have challenge stuff so good for them and that and of course we are going to have the big xenoblade dlc you know, this is the big expansion. We don't, it'll probably, you know, have a standalone package just like Torna did. And I'm very excited to see what they do. And we're still trying to figure out what the storyline is going to be. Is it going to be a prequel? Is it going to be, you know, a prologue seeing what happens with the characters and the world and stuff? I think I would personally prefer that and see what's going on with that. But yeah, no, so more DLC. Good on you, Nintendo. And yeah, now we have some rumors. Now, the two current rumors we have is that our, we're going to see Metroid Prime and that F-Zero is actually going to be making a comeback. These are like the recent and big rumors and look with metroid prime i could see it we had metroid dread what like now two years ago actually um so the idea of this metroid prime remaster maybe happening makes the most sense and maybe you get a teaser look at metroid prime 4 just to show you that they are cooking um so i could see the metroid train starting to roll man i feel like nintendo really wants this franchise to be a thing it's still not quite a thing yet like i think metroid dread sold a couple million but nothing too crazy to break the series you know to the masses but i still 
still think, you know, it's a very valued series to Nintendo. Very high quality and important to them. So hopefully this Prime Remaster finally happens to end that rumor out of my life. And then hopefully, you know, whatever's going on with Prime 4 is fantastic. Now, this F-Zero Revival is really interesting to me. I wonder how far Nintendo is going to take it. You know, are we talking about an eShop game? Are we talking about a remake? Is this going to be a brand new F-Zero? You know, that's going to have crazy online. Because this is a big deal for Nintendo to release a new racing game in, you know, a year where, you know, we still have Mario Kart DLC and stuff. And in general, like, if it can compete with that. But F-Zero has always been very different, you know, very high octane, very crazy speed. So I hope they do something wild with the campaign, the gameplay, and everything. And I hope, you know, I hope F-Zero thrives, man. Give that shit to me. Now, I want to talk about stuff that's pretty much likely, I would say, but not guaranteed. Let's start with Mario, right? My boy Mario gotta be cooking. All right, listen, we got a theme park opening. All right, we have the Mario movie in April, okay? I think it is finally time to have a 2D or 3D Mario. I refuse to believe this year goes on without at least one of those two dropping sometime in the holiday season. You know, Breath of Tears of the Kingdom is going to be, you know, in May. In the fall, we're most likely getting Pokemon DLC because, you know, Scarlet and Violet just came out, so it's not going to be a new gen or anything. So I feel like they need a big holiday title. And what better holiday title than something mario and i really truly do believe they're gonna have one again it's a big year for mario i'm mean, never years a year for mario anytime but i think it really is time i mean think about it we haven't had an original 2d mario i'm not talking about mario maker an original 2d mario since new super mario bros in like 11 years now this year um and then at the same time we haven't had a 3d mario in six years now now that it's 2023 so hopefully the team has been cooking something special i mean i know they're always cooking something special with mario but i I hope whichever it is i hope 2d mario feels refreshed with the new style and i hope if you know they're doing odyssey 2 or whatever else that it's gonna be a banger and i have no doubt it is because i just i can't wait though i want to be back in my mario craze once those are not so can't wait please nintendo do it another thing that could happen for mario is mario and sonic at the olympic games you know next year the paris olympics game will probably come out you know they'll probably get the rights to the summer one so it'll probably be announced maybe in the next direct even i could see that you know popping up for the summer so cool more mario and sonic at the olympics Olympics. not the craziest series but definitely a fun one you can mess around with you with, 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 with your friends now let's talk about our boy donkey kong man where is my boy donkey kong been it's been so long since tropical freeze and that game sold really well and not just that right they're opening a donkey kong section of the theme park and also donkey kong is rumored to be getting his own movie as well as him having a major role in the mario movie so it's pretty clear nintendo still cares about donkey kong and wants that franchise to thrive but i hope the series gets you know a new banger game and i hope maybe it's something like you know kirby uh forgotten land where maybe it is 3d but it's like smaller areas or you know it keeps the challenge of tropical freeze and country returns like i would love a new donkey kong game it would be fire so please nintendo give me a new donkey kong man give me some nice platforming some nice challenges nice barrel hopping rolling everything so everything about donkey kong is so much more unique and different than the other platformers in a lot of ways and school nintendo always distincts them from each other but yeah i really love that so please give me more donkey kong i feel like it's time man next up zelda remasters now i know tears of the kingdom is going to be the bulk of the year for zelda but i could definitely see you know the wii u ports finally happening for wind waker and twilight princess maybe they live drop on the eShop. maybe they drop in the fall either way i feel like it's time for those to show up eventually even 2d zelda i mean like i feel like that might be time at some point to get you know another 2d zelda remake whether it is maybe linked to the past maybe it's a port of what's called the 3ds one was a link between worlds maybe it's oracle of ages and seasons i don't know i would love another 2d game especially when they made that cool toy art style um for Link's awakening i would love to see them use that engine again or something like that so 2d zelda could definitely happen and of course i kind of touched on it earlier but pokemon i'm sure scarlet and violet this year the plan is to just get major dlc packs and we'll probably get a pokemon spinoff with pokemon spinoffs the, you know the world's your oh you know it could be a pokemon snap 3 could be a pokemon troze it could be a mystery dungeon remake 2 a new game whatever it could be anything with pokemon spin-offs i'm not even trying to guess but i'm sure there's gonna be one and of course kirby like i said we're getting you know we're gonna return to dreamland hd i don't think there's gonna be too much for kirby beyond that honestly like i feel like we just got a massive 3d game we're about to get this remaster of a 2d game we also had kirby's dream buffet last year i could see them putting one more eShop game out you know sometime this year or something but i definitely expect kirby to chill out a little bit considering we just had massive 30th anniversary celebration stuff but you know more kirby i'll never complain now a few of my hopiums right i want to throw out there is first of all 
Kid Icarus Uprising HD, right? I know I'm one of the few, you know, in the in the Hopium chains for this, but man, Sakurai recently one of his videos saying, man, it'd be cool if you could play this on console someday. There was also a rumor a while back that Bandai was working on a Nintendo remaster of an action game or something. So I don't know, man. I, I'm sure part of it is Copium or Hopium, but I feel like Kid Icarus Uprising did so well on 3DS, and I think on console that game would be phenomenal. Can you imagine the flying sections with like gyro? controls you know or even you know having just dual sticks in general having those massive set pieces in hd and everything the multiplayer oh my god dude eh. what i would give to get kid icarus uprising hd on switch as a matter of fact bro it's happening give it to me on god right now i'd also love star fox man i know star fox sort of a dead franchise right now because of you know how much they start to remake it over and over and over again but i would love a modern star fox game dude remake remaster star fox assault fuck it i love that game give me some cool air sections some cool ground sections that are fixed. Whatever, man. Just give me, give me some in Star Fox, bro. And of course, one of my other Hopians is Nintendo Switch Online getting GameCube and Game Boy games finally. I feel like, you know, this year, you know, we skipped out on another console happening. We've just been getting more N64 games, really. So I really do hope next year, please, please, Nintendo, give us GameCube games. I doubt they're going to do it. Um, and give us, at the very least, Game Boy Advance games. I do not like how slowly, you know, the online service have rolled out their stuff but it is what it is but i do hope that it's finally time for gamecube to be unvaulted um untethered to just you know waiting for a remaster and you know crazy retail prices for physical copies it's like almost impossible to play a gamecube game besides if you use an emulator so either way nintendo please drop that hopium 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 but yeah that's really everything i got i mean obviously we're gonna have third party stuff you know we got the persona games coming we got bayonetta origins happening we got uh, what's called uh final fantasy rhythm heaven there's gonna be a bunch of third party games i'm sure that are gonna be you know coming to switch whether they're collab exclusives or whatever but guys let me know what you want the most from nintendo this year and what you're most excited for and of course i'll see you all next time peace out i love you